Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Albert Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Whether it's managing a business, an army, or a city, management games define some of the best titles that the strategy game has to offer, even though it's pretty darn difficult to pin down exactly what a management game is. Any aspect of management criteria is going to be included on this list. However, if there's profit involved, you should absolutely check out my list of upcoming Tycoon games as there is a little bit of crossover. Go and check out that video after you get done watching this one. With that out of the way, let's chat about some upcoming management games, shall we? Mind Over Magic is a Magic Academy management game. Design, construct, and optimize every detail of your ideal magic school. Keep everyone alive and content while preparing students to explore the horrors of the underschool, a deadly subterranean trial. Study lost arcana, grow exotic plants, brew potions, and raise undead servants. But don't forget to stop the deadly fog from consuming everything in its path. Craft wands and potions to summon more powerful students. Practice dark magic to animate undead helpers that handle many chores. It can't be a school without class. Students learn magic every day on a schedule you choose and teachers you assign. Learn and harness powerful abilities from a range of magic disciplines to unlock your students' true potential. There is a bunch of unique looking features in this title and it of course is being published by Clay, the creators of Don't Starve and Oxygen Not Included, so there is a huge expectation of quality here. This is a highly anticipated title of mine, and by the looks of things, there's plenty of uh, management game enjoyers out there who feel the same way. No word on a release date for this one yet, but give it a wish list if you're interested. Fantastic Haven is a zoo tycoon style management game, but for magical creatures and with a bit of a grander purpose. In a world where magic is gradually disappearing in favor of technological advances that threaten the balance, you play the role of the elders, protectors of the continent. While the inhabitants prefer to hunt the creatures and gradually abandon magic, your mission is to restore the balance by saving the fantasy creatures whilst using diplomacy and teaching to convince people to live in harmony with them. You've got to explore the world, collect the creatures, and care for them in your sanctuary. Make sure you're building the right buildings for the right animals, and then get prepared to release them back into the wild. This is a great little management game. Uh, it can be quite technical in the sense that you've got some little golems that do the bulk of the building for you, so you've got to carefully sort of manage the supply of golems and the resources that you use to build them, which is called Essence. Uh, I had a look at the demo for this game, linked up in the top right-hand corner if indeed you're interested. This one is due out in quarter two of 2024. Take charge of the intelligence agency of your choice as the Cold War begins. Working from the shadows in this grand strategy management game, you will influence the world using a variety of tools including agents, propaganda, proxy wars, assassinations, and coups as the Iron Curtain descends across Europe. The era of the Espiocrat begins. This is Espiocracy. I think that's how you pronounce it, and you get to choose from one of 74 countries and lead that country's intelligence agency from the start of the Cold War. Uh, whether your chosen nation loses a war, or suffers a coup, or has a change of leadership due to foreign actions, your agency remains resolute, working to further your country's interests through twists and turns of the 20th century and beyond. Deploy foreign and domestic agents to manipulate public opinion, support and establish political factions, stoke the flames of independence, prepare for nuclear brinkmanship, the space race, decolonization, and the instability and proxy wars that follow as you navigate a world balanced on a knife's edge. Honestly, this game looks flipped incredible. I'm really, really stoked to see where it goes. The early fo footage looks really, really promising, uh, and I think you'll agree that the premise is unbelievably cool and interesting. This one can't come soon enough, and it is arriving at some point in 2024, but no firm word on a release date quite yet. This is a reoccurring title in a bunch of my videos, quite simply because for one, I think it's going to be an amazing game, and two, it manages to cut across so many different strategy genres. Infection Free Zone is set in a post-apocalyptic world where you play on any city in the world using real geographical data. You take charge of a group of survivors from your chosen city and try to create a self-sustaining settlement by rebuilding and readapting the buildings around you. But be careful, because when the night falls, you have to 
to defend the zone from the infected, who are fast, strong, and aggressive. You can use your knowledge of the city to find useful resources such as food, medicine, and weapons, but beware of the dangers lurking in the dark. Infection Free Zone is a game that combines strategy, simulation, action, management in a super unique way. You can customize your base of operations, set up shelters and production facilities, adapt existing buildings to new needs, build new farms, power houses, and establish defenses with walls, gates, and towers. You can also explore the city and scavenge for supplies, but be prepared to face the consequences of your actions. There's a prologue available for this game right now, which I enjoyed a bunch, linked up in the top right-hand corner of the screen, and I'd strongly encourage you to keep an eye on this one. No word on a firm release date yet, but get subscribed if you want to know when it comes out. Hollywood Animal is a movie studio management game. You're in charge and you have to decide how to build up your dream movie studio. You could decide to build up a multi-billion dollar monster that destroys everything in its path with blockbusters made strictly according to strict formulas, but this is absolutely not your only option. You could instead create a boutique studio and conquer the festivals with avant-garde directors. You could build up a trash factory challenging good taste at every turn, filling the screens with blood and spit. This game doesn't tell you how to play Play or limit you in any way. Just have fun making movies and managing your studio as you try to keep things afloat. This one is arriving in 2024 and I'm excited to see more details as the game progresses towards release little bit more of a casual management game this one, but absolutely still worthy of a place on this list. Overboss is a game where you are the boss of bosses, the chief monster, if you'd like. You've always been a master of monsters, a builder of dungeons, and a hunter of heroes. For many years, you've competed with other bosses in contests of prowess and villainy. Now it's time to emerge from the underworld. It's time to shape a new land and bend it to your will. It's time to claim your crown as the ultimate overboss. Build up a tiled map and strategically deploy your monsters into the correct locations. Play with your friends and compete to be the proper overboss. This is a great concept for a game and I'm really excited to see how it turns out. This one is coming to the overworld in quarter one of 2024. How on earth does someone describe Trackline Express? It's like an insane train builder crossed with a survival game? Um, I honestly don't quite know, but Trainline Express is a train builder where you need to reach the stations whilst keeping your passengers safe from attacks and wildfires. Gather wood, rocks, ores, coal, and then transform them into various resources to create new buildings and equipment using blueprints that you unlock along the way. The game offers a unique blend of gameplay elements that appeal to players who enjoy strategy and resource management uh, to those looking for a more relaxed and cozy gaming experience with occasional exciting twists. There's loads of building, loads of resource collecting, and loads of defending. This game has it all, and it is just a mad experience. I've played the demo, available now to check out if you're interested, or you can just watch my video, linked up in the top right-hand corner. Whatever the case, the recently announced multiplayer coming to full release, uh, this one was an instant add to... Uh, uh, to my wish list. No word on a release date yet, uh, but it's still listed as coming soon, and let's hope it actually is pretty darn soon. News Tower is a newspaper management and tycoon game set in Prohibition era America. You've got to worry about the mayor of the city as well as the mafia. This is a game that made my top upcoming tycoons games list, so this is just another plug for that if you're interested in tycoon games, linked down in the description. Anyway, in News Tower, you report on the key moments of the 1930s, building up your publishing operation, making money, and making sure that you've got the right staff for the job. News Tower is coming in quarter one of 2024. I'm really hyped for this one as I love sort of tower builders and all the associated management that comes along with it. So frankly, the sooner this one arrives, the better. Cursed Crew is a roguelike crew management game that takes place on an 18th century ship. You control a captain that needs to keep the ship's crew alive in a harsh world with environmental hazards, pirates, sea monsters, and much, much more. You start alone on a ship, but you won't be alone for long, since this ship has a way of attracting things. First, a couple of castaways, but soon, also things that are much darker. For the ship you're on is cursed, and with it, its crew. Give your crew instructions, make sure you protect them, and see if you can lift the curse from your cursed ship. What a great concept for a management game, uh, and this one is cruising into stormy seas in February of 2024. Rouse... 
2? Still not sure how to pronounce that one. Let me know how it's done in the comments, please. Uh, is a god game where you control the fate of humanity and have to manage the competing needs of the planet, its inhabitants, and its animals. You control the titanic elemental gods that stomp around your planet and you give instructions to a forest here, an ocean there, that sort of thing. Your planet is yours to shape as you see fit. As humanity evolves, learns and reaches for the stars, it will be entirely up to you to help them uncover both the best and worst of their destinies. Choose to foster and shape human aspirations by helping them achieve their goals or pave a more difficult road. Don't like what you've built or are being threatened by an angry nuclear armed population? You can always start a new humanity. This is a good game and I enjoyed my time with the demo. Top right hand corner if you're interested in seeing the gameplay. Obviously the demo was just that, a snapshot of what we can expect from the full game, so I'm excited Excited to see what else is on offer. No word on a release date quite yet, but I'll let you know as soon as I know more. In Kaiju Commander, you have a simple mission. Dominate the whole world by breeding huge Kaiju monster creatures. Build up and manage a series of secret underwater bases as you slowly make your creatures more and more destructive, collect treasure and resources from around the globe, and continue to cause havoc across continents. Don't forget though, destruction is the name of the game, so make sure you're always deploying your monsters to cause the maximum amount of damage possible. A pretty unique concept for a management game, I'm sure you'll agree. No word on a release date quite yet, but get subscribed because I'm absolutely going to be covering this one uh, when it comes out. In Ground of Aces, you've got to manage a remote airbase of workers and pilots during World War II. Farm resources, grow food, and manage your supplies well. It's your job to be prepared once the war turns dire. How much will you be able to harvest yourself? What will you trade with a nearby village? And how dependent will you be on shipments from command? It's all in your hands. This is one of my most anticipated upcoming games. I really can't wait for further details. Uh, at the moment, all we know from the successful Kickstarter project is that the devs are aiming for a playable alpha by the end of 2023 with early access hopefully coming in fall of 2024. Marshal the troops because this is going to be a good one. Norland is a medieval kingdom sim that generates complex stories inspired by Rimworld and Crusader Kings. Manage a noble family that owns a city populated by dozens of characters from different classes. Peasants, soldiers, criminals, you name it. Each citizen has their own needs and complex behaviors which will depend on their social status and individual traits, and often their behavior can be deadly to your family. Norland is currently listed as coming soon with no hint of a release date quite yet, but get this one wishlisted if you're interested in grand management style games that are kind of quirky and just a little bit whimsical. Headquarters World War II is a fast-paced, turn-based strategy game where your battlefield tactics are as important as your army management skills. Experience both sides of the war, battling in Europe as the USA, the UK, or Germany. Storm bunkers, occupy houses, win tank duels. Throughout the conflict, you'll have the opportunity to upgrade and tweak your forces, determining the course of the war. It's going to be interesting to see how the management aspects of this game combine with the battlefield combat. Whatever the case, it's going to be an interesting title. This one is listed as coming soon, but in a recent developer update, uh, it was announced that the game was in its final stages of production, so we might not have too long to wait. Ascent of Ashes is a colony sim set in a post-apocalyptic dystopia. Build and defend your base, manage your survivors, engage raiders, aliens, remnant soldiers, and other factions in real time with Paul's combat, or indeed use stealth to outwit them. Explore the massive world you've got to survive at all costs. There has been a demo up for this game in the past. Unfortunately, I've never managed to play it over the tight time frames that it's been up. However, the good news is that we don't have too long to wait, as this one is coming out at some point in quarter one of 2024. Badlands Crew. As a protector of the Citadel, the last outpost of the surviving innocents, you must journey into the lawless Badlands to conquer crazed factions of marauders and defeat their evil chief, the Orator. To succeed, you must construct and customize your ferocious battle wagon to adapt to the lethal threats you will face. Use dynamic and deep vehicle customization to equip your wagon with a range of components and weapons such as flamethrowers, sniper turrets, gatling guns, lookout towers, medical stations, wheels, suspension, fuel tanks, engines, and exhausts. Build your battle wagon 
your way. It's like Mad Max, but you get to build your own vehicle. Uh, nothing with regards to a firm release date yet, but this one is arriving at some point in 2024. And fun fact, it's made by the same developers that made Bomber Crew, so give that one a look if you want to know how this game might play. Mars Horizon 2, The Search for Life, is an authentic space management tycoon where you take on the role of the head of a space agency on your mission to search for life. Search for evidence across the solar system to prove there's life on other planets. Manage your staff, build your bases, design and launch rockets, and plan missions. You'll be writing a new space history every time you play. Following on from Mars Horizon, where you were able to rewrite history, now you're going to be making it. Will you be the first to find evidence of life out there? Uh, this looks set to be a serious space Space exploration and management game absolutely interested in seeing more of it if the original mars horizon was anything to go by i didn't play it however uh, this one does look super promising uh, based on the first one no word on a release date yet for this one uh, but one to keep your eyes on for sure Gladiators Manager is a game all about managing your gladiator's school to ensure that they can win in brutal gladiatorial combat. You begin managing a school on the edge of bankruptcy and slowly expand it by adding and upgrading buildings. Providing the best staff and facilities for gladiators fighting in your name will quickly pay off. To succeed in arenas, you'll need to prepare suitable equipment and teach your gladiators skills that allow them to survive. Test your might in less prestigious arenas before you take on the mightiest warriors of the known world in the Roman Colosseum. Cool, let's see how this one turns out. This one is arriving in quarter four of 2024. In a similar vein to the last game, this is Supermarket Manager, where you manage supermarkets rather than gladiators. Build out the infrastructure that is required to make a profit in the world of retail. This is another crossover from my tycoon list, so check out my coverage of this game over there if you think this one might be for you. Uh, there's still no word on a release date for this one. Roll with me on this one, folks, because it's a good one. Songs of Silence is a story-rich strategy game set in two distinct fantasy worlds threatened by the all-devouring silence. The game features a unique mix of turn-based kingdom management, exploration, and hero development, contrasted with short and intense real-time battles. There are two key elements to the game, the kingdom management aspect and the auto-battler aspect. Both are pretty cool, and I really dig the art style of the game. I think all round, it's pretty darn good. If there is one game on this list that you're looking at, but you don't think that you're in, you're going to enjoy, but actually, when you play it, I think you'll enjoy it, it would be this one. Still listed as coming soon. I'm not sure when this one is hitting Steam, uh, but absolutely give it a look. I quite frequently confuse the name of this game with that of the last game, but they couldn't be more different. Silence of the Siren is a turn-based strategy game where several different spacefaring civilizations are fighting for control of a distant star system. Explore what's left on the planet and secure resources to build mighty cities, raise powerful armies, and defeat your opponents on the battlefield. This is really a sort of army management game with a bunch of city building elements and city management mechanics, and and it's good too. At least the creator demo version of the game absolutely was when I played it. No word on a release date yet, but fun fact for this game, it's made by the same developers that made Project Hospital, which I also loved, so I've got really high hopes for this one. Pirate Commander is a game where you have to command pirates. Manage your ship with an iron grip and upgrade your ship to ensure total domination of the waves. Clean the decks, load the cannons, and man the crow's nest. There's a tremendous amount of potential here that I'm excited to explore. Let's set sail for the seven seas. At least let's set sail as soon as our release date is announced, uh, because there's nothing that signifies that one is on the horizon uh, anytime soon. Take control of a B-17 in a realistic bomber simulator. Uh, destroy key targets by dropping tons of bombs on them. Command each member of the crew and feel their stress and tension. Take part in a truly historic campaign across occupied Europe. Destroy targets, fight enemies, and command an entire bomber squad in B-17 squadron. Looks cool, but I'd like to see a little bit more uh, before judging if this one is going to be a hit or a miss. And there's also nothing yet on a release date. 
Similar to B-17 Squadron, Nuclear Sub puts you in charge of a nuclear submarine. You need to control the morale of sailors, manage weapons and food supplies, and constantly check on the technical condition of the submarine, especially the reactor. Keep an eye on the essentials such as indoor oxygen levels and the correct functioning of the nuclear reactor. This is made by the same folks that made U-Boat, which I actually really enjoyed, so I have quite high hopes for this game. Actually, listed as coming soon, we'll have to wait a little while longer to see how it plays. Set in a gloomy Lovecraftian Stone Age, The Tribe Must Survive is about finding ways to grow and protect your tribe from what lurks in the shadows around it. You're put in charge of building and managing a tribe, you'll have to navigate resource collection, building, technology, and tribal dynamics to their fullest in order to survive the hidden dangers of the night. Can you guide the tribe out of darkness? Cool little concept, uh, and honestly, maybe a little bit of a sleeper hit in my opinion. Another game that's listed as coming soon, uh, but when this one arrives, I'll be checking it out. Start your own shipping company and make sure all your goods get to the correct port in Siorama World of Shipping. Create your own trade routes across an expansive world map featuring 90 port locations. Each destination offers unique challenges and opportunities. Analyze market trends, factor in geopolitical events, and master the art of logistics to optimize your routes for maximum profitability and efficiency. Very, very cool indeed. Uh, there's technically no release for this one quite yet, at least no release date anyway. However, there has been a demo up on Steam recently, so we're not a million miles away from release, at least in my opinion. In Let Them Trade, you, on behalf of the king, need to construct flourishing towns and ensure a steady supply and demand of their goods. By doing that, you attract cunning salesmen to trade between your settlements and in turn pay a decent amount of customs payments to you. Build trade routes between cities, overcome natural obstacles such as wild waters and soaring mountains, and be on the lookout for evil bandits. Only with wit and ingenuity uh, will you be able to build a trading network that maximizes your merchant's profits and in turn, your wealth. What a great uh, premise and uh, what a gorgeous art style to boot. Let Them Trade is currently listed as coming soon and frankly, can't come soon enough. This is a bit more of an RTS game, but with some pretty significant management mechanics included by the looks of things. In fragile existence, you've got to save humanity from the brink of extinction. Travel among the stars to seek out resources, establish and develop colonies to sustain civilization, and grow your military might to push back against an overwhelming threat. This one is coming in 2024 and is published by Hooded Horse. Honestly, there is so much to say on this one, and I'm thinking about doing a video all about Hooded Horse games that are set to publish in 2024 because there's a fair few of them uh, let me know in the comments if you would like to see that car manufacture is a game about building and managing a car factory you start out in the early 20th century with nothing but a few thousand dollars which you'll use to build your first car manufacturing plant in time you'll turn a simple workshop into an effective automated factory as you develop new car models and technologies you'll have to manage your employees in the face of rising labor costs and a rising labor rights movement cool uh, there's a prologue up right now if you're interested in diving into this one alternatively it is arriving in quarter one of 2024 so either way you won't have long to wait and last but not least, in fact, maybe I've saved the best for last. Tavern Keeper is a management tycoon by the developers of Game Dev Tycoon, where you've got to manage a tavern. Build it up from nothing, hire the right staff, and make sure all the decorations are in the right place. Attract the right type of clientele, and hopefully make a little bit of money to keep the lights on. This is one of my most anticipated upcoming games of the year. A uh, bit of a wait until this one arrives in quarter three of 2024. Uh, so just go and check out some other games on this list or indeed some of the bonus games uh, that I've highlighted next uh, if indeed you can't wait for Tavern Keeper to release. Bonus games are coming up next. However, before we get to that, let me know in the comments what on this list you are most excited to play. What games are you excited to see in 2024? Um, I would really, really like to know. Uh, anything that you let me know in the comments, I will look to try and play. Uh, that's the great thing about comments. It lets me know what you are interested in, uh, in seeing on the channel, and therefore I can try and pivot towards it. So yeah, let me know below what you're interested in, uh, in, in seeing played on this list, and uh, we'll get to the bonus games, shall we? Nail books, na nail, nail books, nail, nail, nail books, dungeon master, bit of a 
mouthful, isn't it? Uh, it's a game where you build out, manage your own dungeon, thwart intruders, build all the necessary rooms to keep the dungeon inspector happy, and raise your reputation to become the most prestigious dungeon master in the whole world. This is a really excellent game, and I enjoyed my time with it. It's got a good bit of humor woven into it as well, so you'll constantly find yourself chuckling. Released earlier in November of 2023, into full release, you can play it right now if you're looking to dive into a quality management game. Last Train Home has a super interesting premise. You command a legion of Czech soldiers as they travel through a Russia in chaos at the end of the First World War. I checked out the demo of this game and it was unbelievably solid. It's a real mix between a sort of XCOM style tactical combat strategy game uh, with a train management and upgrade game sort of slapped on top of it. Uh, you'll be commanding your, your soldiers through the, the streets of Moscow at uh, one moment and traveling through Siberia and adding turrets onto your train in the next. It's great. It's a really unique and well thought out title. Uh, check this one out linked below along with all of the other games on this list. This is a hard game to pin down. It's a management, city builder, roguelike, incremental, idle game. A bit of a mouthful, but Micro Civilization is great. A huge recommendation from me, and with a 91% positive review score on Steam, given that it only launched in November, you know that this is a really special release. Expand, construct, fight, research, collect heroes, and make choices between good and evil. Ascend through difficulty tiers by playing through a challenging campaign going back and forth throughout history. This game has it all, a genuine 10 out of 10 for me, um, and again, a very, very hearty recommendation. It is still in early access, but honestly, I can only see this game getting better and better as the months and years progress. So that's it, a pretty diverse and comprehensive selection of management games there on that list if I can be so bold. Will you be wishlisting any of these? Are you aware of some of them but not aware uh, of others? Please do let me know in the comments. It does genuinely help me to see what you want to see played on the channel and also, you know, perhaps I've missed a game. Perhaps I've missed a fantastic management game that you think should have been on this list but just wasn't for whatever reason. Just let me know in the comments. That's it for me from now. Uh, remember to check out the other videos that I've made highlighting uh, other strategy games releasing in 2024, 2025, and check out the Patreon if you're interested in getting early access to these videos. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.